bubbles. Uh, not that kind. We're talking speculative bubbles that can really tear the global economy a new one. They're the worst part of the boom and bust cycle. Bubbles happen when speculators get rich selling things that turn out to be worth much less than they claim. Everyone wants in on the potential profits, and the government has no regulations against it. Take, for example, the 2008 housing bubble, when banks were handing out mortgages to people who could never afford them. When all those people couldn't pay, the bubble burst. Banks had to get bailed out, and it nearly ruined the US economy. But speculative bubbles aren't new. The Dutch tulip bubble, or tulipomania, is thought to be the first. One tulip bulb went from being worth as much as a ship's crew made in a year to being completely worthless, devastating the Dutch economy. The Roaring Twenties led to the Wall Street stock market bubble that burst in 1929 and left behind the Great Depression. With the rise of the internet, everyone wanted a piece of cyberspace and would pay a lot for it. Companies worth little more than their name sold for billions on the stock market and were wiped out when the bubble burst. Lots of people lose money off bursting bubbles. So shouldn't we be concerned about preventing them in the first place? The cost of living in America's cities has skyrocketed and we're up to our eyeballs in student debt. Today, those same schools cost more than...